Hey, my name is uh, Yo Soba. Uh, I work for the AE Finley YMCA uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, uh, working together with the National Inclusion Project. Um, and uh, we have been uh, at the Finley Y. We have uh, a lot of different youth programs uh, from after school and day camp. Um, and uh, a lot of what we've been doing with the National Inclusion Project has has been kind of got started through our day camp. Um, throughout day camp and grown and expanded over the past several years. Um, we have about 500 kids uh, per week at our day camp um, and we're able to serve a lot, a lot of kids with special needs uh, through that program itself without having to take them and, and separate them out from a different, uh, into a different program. And a lot of that um, has, has come about from, from uh, Resources that we've gotten through National Inclusion Project and other other groups, local uh, groups that, that support uh, children with special needs. Um, and one of the, I mean, we have seen some great things throughout that time. Um, we've been able to see how uh, not just our kids with special needs are able to grow um, and learn during that time, but our kids, uh, our typical functioning kids, are able to grow and learn as well. Um, they're you know, they're, the kids are learning from each other um, a lot, and uh, we're hoping to create kind of an environment where um, it's second nature. Uh, if, if there's a child with special needs or, or someone that's different from you, um, it's not that you're scared of the differences, but uh, the kids are embracing that. They're uh, open in conversation, uh, able to talk to each other and learn uh, from each other's differences as well. Is there one story that maybe stands out in terms of uh, somebody having success in the program on either side? Oh, there's lots of stories. Um, one of our favorite stories that we like to tell is about a young man. Um, his name is Braxton, and um, he uh, he was in uh, classrooms for children with special needs, isolated classrooms. Uh, and um, at that time, his mom kind of came to us and, and w was wanting to get him in a inclusive environment during summer during the summer months and, um, and at first uh, there was a lot of struggles there and um, I think a lot of people told her that uh, it probably would not work out well mm -hmm. um, and then through just conversation and, and talking between the Y and National Inclusion Project and, and, uh, um, and, and her uh, and, the, and the family uh, being able to work together um, it has been a great uh, a great endeavor for all of us actually um, you know as, as staff we're, we're learning a lot from Braxton um, and, uh, and Braxton's learning he has grown and, and is able to uh, not just be in our summer day camp but he's fully inclusive in our tracking out program during the day throughout the school year um, as well as the after school program um, so he's been in all sorts of programs with us now uh, and been very successful in all of those and, and has grown from somebody who really needs uh, somebody right there beside him and helping all the time to somebody who is able to function um, and, and learn and adapt in, in all of our programs as well. It's been really a great situation and, and there's hundreds of those stories <laughs> as well but Braxton is one that really just stands out because of the growth and, and difference that, that he's been able to make in, in the staff um, as well as in the other kids. Great. Thanks for sharing with us today, yo. Thank you.